<laughs> well, but reality for you is making great music. As I said, the new single is hell of a long time. And now you wrote this song with Troy Kemp, Michael Painter and Michael DeLorenzis. Was it a Zoom co-write? It was. So I wrote hell of a long time back in 2020. So Ooh, gone, okay. gone back a while now. And at that point, COVID just kicked in. Um, being from Victoria at that moment as well, literally couldn't do anything. So I arranged the co-write with Troy and we wrote the song and it's pretty much, we wrote it about that need of, you know, not being able to see close friends and close family mm. and going, reminiscing on, oh my goodness, you don't realise how good you've got it until you don't have it anymore. Mm-hmm. And I sat on that um, on that version of Hell of a Long Time for nearly three years and there was something about it that I was just like, oh, it can be better. I know it can be better. And as songwriters, we always refine and we keep refining until in our heads we've got it perfect. I don't know why, but um, call us crazy. But then I took it to my producers and squared Michael Painter and Michael Dello and we reworked the song together and made it what it is today. And it's pretty much more of that country anthem that, you know, you go to a country music festival and you're like, oh, my God, I wish we could do this every weekend. And same thing, it's got the same sentiment of, you know, catching up with friends, going to a party and going, even though it might have been a year or, you know, six months since we've seen each other, nothing's really changed. Mm-hmm. So time's passed, but we haven't changed. You know, when you catch up with friends, you're like, doesn't feel like six years have gone by. What do you mean? So um, yeah. hell of a long time is very much, you know, you crank it up, you throw a couple of drinks back and you have a party. That's what the song is about, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you hold on to it for that time because you thought it, it could be improved and it wasn't ready to be out into the world? Um, a bit of both. It's like, yeah. And then I, at that point in 2020, I hadn't found my producer that got me and got me as an artist as well. So it wasn't until I wrote Pretty Little Thing with um, Michael Painter and Michael Della that I was like, yeah, okay, these are the guys. They're going to get this song. Because I'd taken it to a few people prior and I was like, mm, yeah, no, that's not where I want it to go. Um, did you have like this idea of what you want the song to sound like? And they were able to break down my creative confusingness that, you know, every artist has when they go to a producer. And they're like, I want it to be like X, Y, Z. And it's nothing like that, but they actually break down what you actually really want, uh, which is incredible. And yeah, I've got songs that I've been sitting on for years and I'll go back to them and sometimes it just takes a new new eyes and new perspective to go, that's the missing piece, if mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So, yeah, so it was a bit of both on that one, but I'm so wrapped with what it's sounding like now. It's better than what I ever could expect. So, yes, the Michaels are otherwise known as M Squared and a lot of people will know them that way. So it, it does seem like that, that is very much a, a true collaboration for you with them. Yeah, it definitely is. And Troy was amazing. I could still got all of the elements in it. The the core of the song is still there. Um, the chorus is like slightly different, but pretty much everything else is exactly the same. And those boys are absolute legends. And there's a reason why a lot of people choose to work with them because they are great to work with, great collaborators, and they respect a lot of artists as well and respect your creative choices and want to enhance your sound as an artist and your point of difference, which is amazing. Yeah. 